echo in your brain You know you can't sustain The misconceptions in your mind One day you'll see for sure What all of this was for Then you can leave it all behind The journey begins I am the one here that will show the proof I am the one here that is searching for the truth I am the whispers of the logic in your mind I am an agent of the Logos In the beginning was found This thing that cannot speak It's how we all truly It's only ever the same when one lets go of fear So don't let wisdom pass you by The journey begins I am the one here that will show the proof I am the one here that is searching for the truth I am the whispers of the logic in your mind I am an agent of the Logos It was there all alone How could I never have seen This thing that's danced all around It wasn't until I left Behind the things I believed That I could see things so clear The journey begins Become the one here that will show the proof Become the one here that is searching for the truth Become the whispers of the logic in their mind Become an agent of the Logos Become an agent of the Logos We are the agents of the Logos We are live. Uh, welcome, everyone. It is a non-spherical pie day. It's the end of the spherical pie days, as we'll go over. Uh, it's not really a thing. It's something blue marble scientists have made up. Uh, that is a spherical pie. Uh, non-spherical pie is the actual real pie. Uh, that we're dealing with today. Everybody knows this. Magic. Magic day. Only for Americans, though, because us Brits don't write in words, letters, numbers, that way around. Yes, you have to write it the correct way <laughs> for it to make sense. 3.14. Who puts the month first? Uh, every, everybody who knows how to do dates puts them on first yeah. before the day well anyway welcome to pie day <laughs> we're only going to be round here for a short bit because um my favorite days now uh philosophy we're going and do the uh introduction to western philosophy at uh, hillsdale college and it's going great uh, we're doing metaphysics today there is no um metaphysics on the uh blue marble science they can't talk about it scary uh, log it involves logic everybody knows you can't do in logic instead of metaphysics they have ideology mm. Re replacement dogma 
Meta dogma. <laughs> really just make it up themselves. Um, right, so, uh, I think seeing as it's um, that day, I've got this uh, prepared, so... Mm -mm. It's only a four minute one and you know what day it is of everybody uh let me so you guys can see that can you and yes I'm we're done gonna... i don't know whether we're gonna you're gonna need to see it right okay listen to this this is a, a recording i made when i went over to go and talk with um terry and the the australian crowd uh they have a they have a show on saturday and midweek i think blue marble goes on it a lot so here we go you guys are representing the uh blue marble science or this no. is it spherical no. science it's, no. it's, Terry, it's no. terry's channel yeah yeah this, this is um, my channel it's We're sphere science saturday anybody. or something like that was it this is my channel, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I mean, th this was broadcast as, is it Sphere Science? Well, uh, yeah, I just called that in the, the title. Okay. Right, so is it Sphere like, a, it's an thing. ironic sort of thing that, that there isn't any spherical science because that's <laughs> geometry, obviously. Well, we we, we, well, we live on the, the Earth and the Earth is a spherical type shape. So, yeah. Well, of course, there's spherical science, but uh, okay. you don't know enough to be talking about it. Oh, you don't know. The famous cry of the blue marble scientists. That's right. Well, it's quite true, too, actually. One of the um, you, scientific methods, you, isn't it? And, and in fact, uh, you know, well, I, I, I'm not even going to get into it because you will not understand it. Well, there you go. Again, well done. Bev is, um, Bev, we let Blue say whatever he wants. It's his problem, not ours. <laughs> he can back You're himself up. Yeah. You ever heard of a <laughs> spherical pie, Bev? Um, it's different, right? The value of pie on the surface of a sphere. If you draw a circle on the, on the surface of a sphere, pi is not a constant anymore. But pi is a constant. Not spherical pie. Well, um, like I'd just like to point out again, uh, in reality, um, pie is a constant. In reality, spherical pie is not a constant. Yeah. Yeah. In reality, it is not. It varies between 2 and 3.14159, the one you know about. The pie only you know. cannot vary. That's the point. It certainly can on the surface of a sphere, buddy. It can. It does. But pie doesn't vary, Blue. Yes, it does. It's, a, it's, really, pie, it's a really bad you, argument, your, Blue. Your lack, of under, your lack of education does not. is not my problem. It's your problem. Go learn something. Pie has a value. That's called pie. It doesn't that is change. Pie. That is pie in planar geometry, Bev. But it doesn't change. The, Pie's on, only pie, pie yes, for fuck's sake. Bev, Bev, Bev. When you draw a circle on the, on the surface of a sphere... You've got a, a pi number that is variable. It depends. It depends on how big the circle is. If pi the circle isn't variable. Be, if the circle uh, has, happens to be the diameter oh, of the yeah. sphere, pi has a value of 2.000. If the circle is infinitely small on the surface of a sphere, it has a value of 3.14159. It varies by the sign of the fucking angle. You're unmuted again, Bev. You kept interrupted, so I muted you for a minute. I told you you wouldn't understand it. There's more than one pie. More than one pie from a farmer's boy. Yeah, there's lots of them. Oh, like the radius becomes a, the surf, uh, on the surface of a sphere. There's a lot of different pies then. I gave you the boundaries. 2.0 to 3.14. Hey, guys, it's, it's, it's fast. 
Thank God there's more than one pie. It gets to be limited to apple pie all the time. <laughs> so, now you know. Blue Marble Science says uh, there's more than one. Backed up by a farmer's boy. Telling you, yeah, there's definitely one, more than one pie. <laughs> but you have to fulfill one condition, impossible condition. Because uh, he said, when you draw a circle on the surface of the sphere, and this is impossible, of course, because mm -hmm. you cannot draw a circle on the surface of the sphere. Simple. Impossibility. Yeah, we've got, um, you know, that uh, claim to be Canadian uh, teacher. Well, that Canadian teacher says that pi is not variable. If someone is using pi as a variable, that is weird. Blue Marble Science. From a claim to be Canadian teacher. And no, she isn't going to watch the video that shows that Blue Marble just said that pi is variable. This is the person that will call me a liar for saying that. And I give her the, uh, the video to show that people do say that pi is variable. And uh, she won't watch it. And because she doesn't believe me, she can call me a liar. Yes, but still, she doesn't believe that uh, blue marble science is right. So he's liar also, should be, mm -hmm. for her. Well, no, because she won't believe me saying that blue marble science said it. So that'll be me that's a liar, not blue marble science. Oh, of course, yes. So. We, got, we can get around all sorts of stuff. Somehow you would have taken it out of context, Bev, or something. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that, that that Blue said that. Well, if she put it that way, then, yeah. I wonder, it'd be like a death match, like a, a, a pie death match, between, figuratively speaking, of course, between uh, KC there and Blue Marble Science. Because God. clearly the, uh, the, the, uh, the old antiquated globe folks don't have their stories straight. Probably because they don't have any proofs. Yeah, see, this is how I started the day. With uh, KC telling me that circles are straight. Oh, sorry. Great circles. Great circles are straight. Come on, Bev. Learn something. And that's at the start of Pi Day. From a mathematic claim to be. Mathematics teacher in Canada. Uh, telling me. Uh, on Pi Day, great circles are straight. Uh, I, and she says, uh, I'm the teacher because I know that mathematics extends beyond Euclid's elements. <laughs> A fact you seem sadly ignorant of. Despite being educated by an uncountable number of people online... A great circle is straight in spherical geometry, says Casey, on Pi Day. I said, a circle is Euclidean. You can't just call it great and say it's straight. And then this guy here, Bikini Atroll. Uh says, oh my God, straight line on a ball. Like one of the most ridiculous things you've ever heard. Casey says, a circle has a definition. This is where you have to listen to this, right? A circle has a definition that carries over and needs to be modified for spherical geometry. Uh, you are all fine and happy with Euclid redefining things for three dimensions, which he actually hadn't. I don't know. Um, but don't realise that there needs to be new definitions for non-planar surfaces. They need to redefine a circle. So you have to make sure exactly what circle you're talking about. 
the redefined one that's a straight, a straight circle. Or maybe the uh, spherical pi one. I mean, I don't know whether this this circle that she's talking about that's straight would have a different pi value for a straight circumference. Yeah. Does, does Casey know you have a Discord channel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she seems pretty sure of herself, you know. Did you ever invite her over here to have a chat? Oh, she only goes on Twitter. We'll only debate on Twitter. Never leave anywhere for Twitter. But she does have a video channel. Does she? Yeah. Yeah. And is is it is it, it, a girl or is it a teacher or? Yeah. Um. Well, I don't know. Or... I don't know. I've not actually watched any of the videos yet. We might yeah. we might end up going over them, but again, it's a uh, an antiquated globe um, defender. Yeah, on I see her there on yeah on Twitter. She's really hardcore there on mm -hmm. Twitter, you know. Yeah, I'd like to see her, you know, having a shot on on a, you know, man to man or girl to girl, you know, on a Discord channel, you know, even if it wasn't in here, you know, just have a chat to see how her ideas were, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be, be, I I I'd say be careful, gadget. You don't want to you want to make sure you get your genders, mm -hmm. don't get your genders mixed up or anything. We don't know for sure. Okay, okay. I don't think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kevin B, I'll write that down. Okay. No Thanks. Appreciate it. That's good. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to get in any trouble. Okay. But still, carry on, she, carry on, still <laughs> she, she said that uh, uh, the circle ha has to be redefined. No, because circle uh, is on plane and uh, it does not need uh, redefinition because of sphere, because uh, something. Uh, drawn on the surface of the sphere is uh, it, by means of drawing is spherical. So this is just a sphere. So if she is talking about circle drawn on the sphere, it is just a sphere or part of the sphere. Nothing uh, has to be uh, to redefine here. Well, I see. Nothing. She says that blue marble says that you can't have spherical pi. So pi doesn't change. So therefore, the circle can't change, can it? Cannot. So how do you redefine a circle without changing pi? You can, like, you can't. It's exactly the same thing, isn't it? Just, yes. Just a mental sort of leap that they have to make. I mean, yes, that's fine. I'm... If people want to make a mental change of something that doesn't actually change at all, mathematically or definitionally but just imagine that it has to be defined differently by calling it straight yes but but That's still a uh, circle is in euclidean geometry and a sphere is also in euclidean geometry so uh, this is and a uh, sphere in euclidean geometry is not redefined circle they are just different uh, figures but they have they have changed the definition, you know, of the surface to uh, in um, mm -hmm. in book eleven. I don't know whether I've got that. I mean, I'll, I might have to have to go on. He's to just that. using this definition, uh, this uh, surface uh, um, epiphania, because I, I no, they call so it a face now. Uh, I they literally, how... they literally says face, the face uh, of a. Uh, of a solid okay is a surface the, I think. as i checked in greek uh, he is using for a plain surface he is using epipedon mm -hmm. or epipedon epiphania uh, and for uh, not plain he is just using uh, epiphania and for a sphere he is using epiphania well, I now they've turned it into a face. Wh whatever. Yeah. So the, the the surface of a sphere, according to the new Euclid definitions, um, isn't included because you can't have a face of a sphere. Uh, it's yeah. about meaning of word uh, face. 
uh, but Euclid didn't uh, wrote his elements in English. Mm -hmm. So he, he used uh, Epipedon and Epiphaneia. So uh, Epiphaneia is just uh, for any surface and Epipedon is for plane. So when he is talking about a uh, spherical uh, surface, he is using word Epiphaneia. And when he is talking about a uh, cube, uh, he is talking about surfaces and he is using Epipedon uh, in plural. So uh, it's just, or maybe even he's using squares. So, so it's obvious pl planar. Yeah, surfaces. I like superficies. It's just yes, literally it's, it's, just the surface. Yes, right? it doesn't it doesn't say anything to it. It's just the superficies. Yes, but this this is um, uh, that would be a Latin translation because superficies is uh, just Latin word mm -hmm. borrowed from Latin uh, in English, but but it means the same. It it means uh, uh, literally uh, like uh, above above face, some something like that. Because super it me it is uh, above, and, uh, and fishes is like face. <clears throat> okay, so Casey says why? What makes you think they would say different? This is a uh, spherical pi. I say, listen to the video. The spherical cap has a variable pi on the antiquated globe model. Uh, that's why you should research the real globe. Contradiction free. Uh, and then Kenny comes along. He's a blue marble scientist, says, uh, math doesn't change the shape of the earth, Bev. We could throw it all away. Earth will still be a rotating ball. And then Farmer's Boy comes on and says, it was a ball before we had maths, writing the ability to communicate. So everybody knows that, right? Tis globe, always has been, always will Tis be. Tis globe. Definitely. Uh, J. Rowe says, uh, we knew it to be a ball before we knew it to be a ball because it was a ball before we all knew it was a ball. I think that will need to be wrote up that. Except I'll change it to globe. It's globe. Everybody knows a ball is a Euclidean three-dimensional solid figure. So... Using the term ball shouldn't really be. If I'm, you know, like if I had to redo this again, I'd, I'd get rid of a ball. It's ridiculous. Mathematically, they leave themselves in, in trouble with that. And here's one reminder of Casey Bev. I didn't call you a liar for not believing me. I said that telling me you don't believe me is calling me a liar. Uh, and if you don't want to flip that around and say that me saying I don't believe you is calling you a liar, I'll remind you that I've explicitly called you a liar. And Devil's Replacement says, although at this point, who hasn't said he's a liar? And they have a lot of people who call me liars. Casey... Pi is not a variable. If someone's using pi as a variable, that is weird. Blue marble science. Casey thinks it's weird. I don't know whether it, uh, she's allowed to do that. Blue marble science. If you don't know if he's listening or not. Uh, oh. Kenny says, math doesn't change the shape of the earth, Bev. We could throw it away. Earth would still be a rotating ball. Uh, Farmer's Boy says, it was a ball before we had maths, writing the ability to communicate. And I thought, I'll get in there with that. I can get in with the boys. I can join in with that. I said, everybody knows that it was globe before it was globe. Tis globe. And... Farmer's boy says, 
it's like a little yappy dog. Which is a very strange comment and reply. But it gets a little bit stranger for the farmer's boy. Just remember the little yappy dog thing. Uh, I say everybody knows it was Globe before it was Globe. And Kenny says, uh, why do you keep using Globe when literally everyone equates that to Flat Earth? I mean, does everybody, does everybody equate Globe to Flat Earth? I mean, I don't know. I thought it, Globe was Globe, like especially the real Globe. It's not Flat Earth, right? It's definitely not flat. Real if that's globe. the case, there's lots of my lots more flat earthers than anyone yeah. ever thought there was. Why do you keep using globe when literally everyone equi equates that to flat earth? Kenny thinks it's fucking a uh, globe is a flat earth thing. What's up with him? She's, she's confusing models. Yeah. I don't know. This, this is mental state dangerous already. No. Blue. Yeah, you don't get this. Like, you said pi was variable. You did. We've just been over it. There's a video there. I'll put it back on the thing again if you want. I'll just put it up there. You can go and listen to it for yourself. Everyone can go and listen to it for themselves. We definitely heard it. There you go. Everybody go and listen to it, Blue Marble Science. You go and listen to it. It was you that said it, Blue Marble Science. Please, go and listen to it. Um, Bev, man to man, it's a bad look. It makes everything you say, say seem disingenuous and makes you and everyone that supports you look foolish. Know when it's time to let it go. Well. I'd say again, the real globe is not flat, right? Please, everybody out there, um, don't equate the globe, the real globe, with flat Earth like Kenny does. That's bad. Hang on, hang on. Good afternoon. And hey, hey, Rob. The, the real globe's not a globe either. The real globe's not flat, but Kenny seems to think uh, that when we're talking about the real globe, he thinks it's flat. Kenny does. No, it's not flat. No, it's not flat. There you go. Obvious. So well done, Kenny. I would say that... Even their globe's not a globe, though. Mo modern globe is flat. It's globe. Yeah, it's... Well, you can't deny... It's definitely globe, can you? If the premise you start off with is, it is globe, it is globe, then uh, you can't deny that that's your premise. If that's your yes. first premise or your major premise, then nobody can deny. But the that's minor where you start premise off. would be that Earth is flat. So, <laughs> if... <laughs> If the Earth is a globe, and if the Earth is flat, therefore, the globe is flat. This is syllogism, you know. Well, Perfect. I, Kenny, is that, do you reckon that's what Kenny's trying to do? He's trying to get us to flatten the globe? I don't know, I'm not too sure about it. Like, everybody knows I'm not a flat earther. Everybody knows that. So... Why does the real globe have to be flat? Why, what's Kenny talking about? Crazy. So I say, uh, oh, um, we're talking about um, circles, and I say, he says, Dennis Whalebone says, troll. Um, apart from the horizon, and I say, if horizontal is a straight line parallel to the plane of the horizon, then. All horizontals will be parallel to each other. All horizontal planes are parallel to the plane of the horizon. Uh, therefore, all horizontals are parallel to each other. Logical statement. I call that the argument. 
Uh, and then just remind them that it's definitely globed. It's globe. Um, and Kenny says, as a rebuttal to that uh, argument, it's not parallel to the horizon. It's tangent. So I don't know whether Kenny's going to uh, inform the dictionaries because uh, they don't seem to say that. Uh, all the mathematical texts that I've ever been over talking about horizontal. It doesn't mention anything about a tangent. Isn't that weird? Yes, and by the way, when you set uh, outer level, uh, this uh, cross horizontal is above horizon. It means that it is not touching horizon. So it is not tangent. Uh -huh. Simple. It yeah, you can't parallel. have air tangents, can you? No such thing as that. Unless I they're going to. I don't know them. nothing about that yet. I, don't, I think it was in the Five Laws of uh, Globe from Rumpus and Blue Marble Science. Unless you use a toothpick uh, tangent. Yeah. So. Air tangents. Anything's allowed, really. Uh, and then again, I say, if horizontal is a straight line parallel to the plane of the horizon, then all horizontals will be parallel to each other. Um, all horizontal planes are parallel to the plane of the horizon. Therefore, all horizontals are parallel to each other. And the reply from the farmer's boy is... Uh, woof woof growl. I don't know what's going on. Whether it's a slight mental breakdown or whether he's uh, unleashing his furry character. I'm not too sure what's going on, but it's there. Look at it. Maybe this is just natural reaction. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what a misologist does when faced with uh, the argument. <laughs> uh, and I say the real globe is not flat, and I've got a meme there, right, that says it in a quote. So. The real globe is not flat. To which Farmer's Boy replies, Yap, yap. These uh, uh, blue marble scientists, the, um, the antiquated uh, <laughs> globe defenders, are having a mental breakdown. Acting like, uh, you notice Yap Yap, he's acting like a little uh, Chihuahua type thing. That's Farmer's Boy. This is his answer, concise answer. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about the best that they can do. The real globe is not fat, flat. Everybody knows this to be true without question. Why do you insist on calling it flat? Are you a flat earther, I ask? The real globe is not flat. Put the meme out there again, just so he knows for sure. Um, Kenny says, globe is slang for flat earth. By using it, you are willfully identifying as a flat earther. So be careful, everyone. Kenny's now labelling anybody that uses the globe as a flat earther. Globe is slang for a flat earth. By using it, you are willfully identifying as a flat earther. That was, this was clearly spelled out above. I use globe as I believe earth to be spheroidal. Says Kenny. This would work much better on a vid, uh, on a radio podcast globe so now watch out kenny has labeled and he's told everybody that globe is slang for flat earth 
So oh. be aware, everybody. Kenny is around. He's one of Blue Marble scientists. Are you aware of this, Blue? Are you are you aware of the globe? Excuse me, but being it means flat Earth. It means that this uh, f five or uh, axioms of the globe. Uh, these are axioms for, for flat, flat Earth. Earth yeah, maybe. Apparently now, yeah. yeah. Slang. Blue Blue Marble's been doing it for ages. They've all of these guys have been actually talking in slang for all of this time. Uh, Casey says, there's no way you can be uh, mistaken about my profession. So if you say you don't believe me, you're saying I'm lying. And I say, uh, you obviously have a different meaning of belief to me. Uh, and obviously place much more importance in belief than I. Uh, Casey the uh, claim to be Canadian teacher, uh, replies with, you obviously have mental health issues and trouble living within actual society. That's a teacher. A Canadian school teacher replying to uh, me talking about belief and how you can um, not believe somebody is a teacher and... Uh, not find offence in that, right? It's just a belief that you don't have to believe things. Uh, we have this saying, that we've got, I call it epahe, right? Which means uh, the non-belief, you release all dogma. You don't have to believe dogma. Uh, you can know things. Anytime you have a belief... Uh, you can release it to epohe and hold the two things there. You don't have to believe either of them. You can just hold them in this place called epohe. It's a place of uh, peace, serenity, where you can just sort of um, call it fence sitting if you want, but it it just makes it a lot easier. You don't have to be forced into any dogma that people say. And it'd stop a lot of this stuff with uh, Casey getting really upset about people not believing. Uh, uh, the, there's no need for me to believe anybody. There's no need for anybody to believe anybody on anything. <coughs> um... Hi, Day. Um, we're going to be going uh, and doing our philosophy course. So if anybody wants to come in, even you, Blue Marble Science, anybody else wants to come in and join us, um, you're quite welcome. This is a, a learning thing. Join the course, click on the course, come on into the Discord. We'll be going over it and uh, sitting through it like a bit of a book club. Philosophy. Introduction to Western philosophy. We're going over uh, metaphysics, Aristotle metaphysics tonight. So jump on the Discord uh, and that's where we'll be doing the rest of this. Uh, members. Uh, philosophy course, Hillsdale College. I, I won't bother doing a thing again tonight. So... Um, Click on the thing. Come on into the Discord if you want. That's where we're going to be. Uh, and uh, welcome. And we'll go over this spherical pie stuff anyway soon. So click on the Discord. Come on in. And we're going to be doing Philosophy Night. Tonight and tomorrow. Uh, see you tomorrow. Howdy.